All right, well, it's pretty safe to say that I'm excited about this one. Um, my friend Echo Island sent me this link to this company that is uh, selling old Polynesian furniture. There's a lot of that going on right now out here in Orlando. Uh, they're tearing apart the Polynesian and renovating it. So they are selling off a bunch of the old stuff. Not Disney, they're selling it to like third parties in bulk. And then a lot of these third parties are selling off um, all the pieces out of the rooms. Some of them are a little expensive, like ridiculous. Like lamps going for 350 and 225 and $500. It's, it's maddening knowing that they're all getting it for, you know, 50 bucks or 20 bucks a piece. But what I haven't seen a lot of are the uh, old sofas. And the sofas are really nice. They have all this whole carved feature around the bottom of it. And I found one for $200. And I'm really excited about it. So let's go take a look. So as you can see, it's uh, really nice. All the carving down the front, it's clean. It pulls out into a bed, uh, but right now I'm really excited just to have it. And the fact that it was only $200 is amazing. What I also got, and these were uh, a bit more, <laughs> um, are these lamps that are they go on the each side of the bed. So they are the bed frame um, sconces, I guess you could say, that go on the right and left of the uh, headboards for the beds. I didn't want the headboard because, as you know, I already made my own. And actually, what's funny is I was looking for one of those originally when I did it, and I couldn't find any. And this place literally is less than a mile away from where I'm working right now. It's crazy that they were all just right next to me this whole time. But here we go. I think these are going to go on the wall in here. And that is uh, going to be stunning. I love it. Very happy. Yeah, it's uh, it's that time of day. So, my day started out. Oh, thank you, Kenny. I appreciate your help. Uh, so I picked up that couch, picked up those lights. Um, I was hoping that the neighbor could help me get the couch out of the back of the truck because I don't really have anybody nearby that can run over here and help. Unfortunately, he had two teeth pulled this morning, so he was out. So I sat around for a while hoping that maybe somebody would be walking by that could help me. It didn't happen. So then I was just going to take it home and put it in my storage unit. And I kind of looked at it and there's really no good way to tie it down in my truck because it's longer than the bed of my truck. And if I tie it and really crank it down for an hour drive home, I could potentially break it. Uh, just the way that the wood would sit like in a really precarious spot on the couch. So I had to get out of the truck. So I uh, got smart and used a big sheet of plywood, made a bridge, made a ramp, and then I slid it down the ramp and got it up onto the porch here. So second part, I am making the sconce, uh, I'm making the brackets for the sconces to go on the both sides of the bed. I got the frames cut for the sconces because of the thickness of the box that they come with. And then I was going to gouge out, because I don't want it to go all the way through, I'd actually like to screw it to this. So I'm gonna take the table saw and make a bunch of little cuts to clear that out and then I'll get a chisel and make, make it square. And then that whole box will fit into this with this around it. Cool. I didn't want to go too far with this one because I'd like to get the other one going too. So I pulled it off the wall. And uh, when I was cutting these, I was putting them down onto the table saw and then running it forward and then lifting it up so that I could make like a nice box cut out of it. And then I used my oscillating tool to cut the edges off. So when I was going down in the beginning and I was raising the blade up, it grabbed and shot the thing over my arm, which was awesome. Just to kind of wake you up and make you respect tools every now and then like to kiss you back, you know, so you know your place. And that's what happened today. When Carrie's father, my wife's father gave me this table saw, he also gave me this really cool, uh, 
holder and it was all in pieces and I hadn't built it because I just didn't have time. So, hey, look, I found time. <laughs> so now I can hold the thing down really well. So safety first, um, this would have been great to, you know, used as a holder to push the thing forward and backward and not let it get squirrely on me. Normally just running something through the table saw, I'm not worried. But when you're kind of doing a little tricky cut, it's good to have something that makes it a little bit safer. That being said, I then built that thing and I was gonna actually go back to start to cut on here. And I had the table saw kind of facing 45 from this. So originally when I was doing this and I turn on the table saw and something shoots out of it and bounces off this part of my arm. And this is where I'm guessing all of a sudden I, I was working and I keep hearing this tinking noise, like tink, tink, tink. I'm like, what the hell is that? We just put the subwoofer in today and I know it's not that, it's not that good <laughs> to where it's going to do any like rattling of things too much. And I come over and I look at the microwave and the entire glass on the microwave is shattered. So I'm guessing that it shooting off of my arm or it shooting out in a direction that wasn't going to cause any harm, but then hit my arm and somehow ricocheted up and hit that. That's the only thing. I, I mean, it wasn't facing it. It was a freak one in a million shot. If it did, if that's what caused it. So I looked into how much it costs to replace the door on one of those things. And it's about $400 just for the door because it's a nice fancy microwave. So, yeah, it happens. But now let's get to me flustered in my brain. I go and I make my marks onto the piece of wood and start cutting. Well, if you notice right here, I'm on the wrong side. Now I could just repaint this side and make this the side. But no, I'm like, I'll just flip it. I'll make new marks and I'll cut onto this side of it. Because I can't use that side. If I start cutting into this side on and where the grooves are on the back, it'll just fall through and I won't be able to have that bottom plate that I'm looking for. So I said, okay, I'll just make new marks on this side and I'll start cutting. So then I get the table all saw set up and I start cutting. But I'm coming off of the old line and not the new line. I'm supposed to go between here and here. This is the old line from over here. I'm just way off. I'm. It's one of those days where you've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. And I'm going to run home. <laughs> I just, I'm having a day. I, I feel like if I keep working, I'm just going to keep screwing something up. And sometimes you have those days, you just need to walk away. And I'm going to walk away. The next day. All right, we're back at it. Uh, I had to go to Home Depot and get a new piece of uh, one by four. Because this one is, yeah, I mean, pretty useless now at this point. Uh, so, I'm going to start over, do what I need to do on this side, get it all done, and then I'll paint it. And uh, we'll move forward on getting these sconces done. Hopefully, today is not going to be like yesterday. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> Anyways, we move on. give it a shot and see how it works. Uh, if my measurements are correct, it should. Oh, 
backwards. Yup. And yup. We're good to go. So now I'm going to sand this one and then burn all three of these and uh, steel wool and then paint and install. Good to go. Oh yes, one more thing. Uh, I need to cut a groove all the way down to the floor on the back side of the panel for the wire. And then, then we're good to go. All right, so a uh, huge thank you to my buddy Manny. Uh, he just left and we made some amazing discoveries and fixed some things uh, pretty quick and then made some plans for next week. Uh, the new advancements that we have made, which are really awesome. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put that wood beam down the center of the uh, room and I wanna put quad boxes into the beam so that we can put any lights running into those plugs. And then I wanted to splice it into uh, this box. We found out that that switch controls that box up there. So with this switch controlling that, uh, we'll be able to turn those on. And if I put a smart switch on that, we can then make all the lights in here uh, go on and off and dim with that. One of the other issues that I was having was all of the plugs over on where the stereo is are, were giving me a um, bad ground and I didn't want anything bad to happen, and I wanted to fix and figure out why I was getting a bad ground. So we took apart the outside wall, uh, which is pretty simple, and figured out all the plugs inside. It also gave me the opportunity to run an RCA uh, cable over to the junction where all the stuff for the television is gonna get plugged in. So I put a really nice and fancy, uh, RCA plug in the back. So now this jumps up and over the top of the door and comes down to the back side of where the stereo is behind the bar. And now we can have the TV run through the house speakers, which is an added bonus. Also, we figured out how we're going to add an extra switch to the master bedroom. And I can run another quad box in the ceiling there with two switches that's going to come out up above and run inside of the box and all good things. Big things are happening. So big progress today. Huge thank you to Manny for coming over and he's coming back next week to help me do that switch and all the electricity issues are going to be finally solved and I can really move forward with covering up plugs and walls and such and get the outside done and so on. All right. That's it for today. I'm going to go put some things back together and 
call it a day. Well, big success on this one as well. I got the sconce lights all done. And they are beautiful. I only have enough, I only have one extension cord here. So that one's on, that one's off, but we will uh, get them both lit up here pretty soon. But I'm pretty damn happy. I feel like these came out pretty good. I'm happy with the end result. It really adds a nice romantic touch to the room. The little escapism never hurt anybody. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Be sure to like and subscribe. Mahalo.